Back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pometer. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't done it yet, we'd really love it if you could go down and hit subscribe for us. Just push the little button, come back over and over again, see some phenomenal artists, authors, creators of all kinds. We are at Megacon in Orlando, Florida, at the Orange County Convention Center. We want to thank Fan Expo for inviting us to come in here and hang with some amazing artists and creators. We are here hanging with comic artists. Chad Harden from DC Comics. Man. How are you doing? How you doing, Chad? Doing fantastic. Thank you for hanging with us, man. Oh, no worries. My How's pleasure. it going down on the floor? Busy. Yeah. Just. It's just yeah. starting. It's well, just... Thursday was like a Saturday. Yeah. And Friday's like a, oh, no. You know, just like, <laughs> rah, you know, wall to wall. Anybody want to speculate on what that Saturday's going to oh, be? Oh, I know. Like. And that's what everyone says. I'm like going, oh. Yeah. You get to like build yourself up mentally. It's just the wall <laughs> of humanity. came from a panel, too. Well, you know, actually, I was supposed to. But uh -huh. it's tomorrow. It's, it's actually it's tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. See, so. that's what happens. You come to the conventions, <laughs> and you know the schedule just blurs yeah. together after yeah. a while. You got to roll with the punches every now and then. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Now, the the web is going to know you from Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, as an artist drawing Harley Quinn yeah. now for New Fifty Two. Yeah. Um, and a little bit of Rebirth. And a little bit of Rebirth. Yeah. Okay. So, when did you? Well, when did you start as an artist? You know, it, it, it all started when I was a kid, spent a lot of time in the hospital. And, you know, this was the, the era before cable television, before video games, before, you know, any of that. And, uh, I mean, the only thing there was to do was just, you know, See, draw. before you started talking, yeah. the only thing dating us was the little gray in our beard. <laughs> and, yeah, and now before. They, now, now they know. Before the personal PC, <laughs> yeah. Before uh, cellular telephones, yeah. And, um you know, so I, I mean, I just, I just started drawing, and then, and then everyone's like, "Well, what did you do after that?" And I'm like, "I just never stopped." Yeah. You know, I think a lot of kids, like, you know, I've, I have four children. Um, a lot of kids start drawing when they're young. My boys all went through the phase where you know yeah. they needed a sketch pad, they needed a sketch right. pad, and then uh, in their teen years they did it, and then they got a little older, then they yeah. It just then there's went there's away. dates and football and. And girls, y girls, girls. And, and if you have girls, boys, yeah, yeah. You know, so, uh, and so there's just a lot of distractions that creep in. And I was one of those kids who, like, I remember Mrs. Merkel, my history teacher in high school, just like, you never stop drawing. I'm like, that's right, you know, I just, you know, just kept on drawing, sent me to detention, drew in detention, drew on the bus, you know. Uh, so, favorite things to draw? Um, you know, um, you know, the first thing was probably stuff like Scooby Doo, uh -huh. but it was also. Uh, do you remember the Super Friends cartoon? Absolutely. So there's Super Friends and Spider Man and his amazing friends, yeah, and oh so I was just remember that, yeah. yeah, just drawing those constantly, and then I found out about comics. Like you know, like yeah. I was drawing the cartoons first. I'm like, <gasps> you know, and then you find out that it's like one person drawing the whole book, and you're like, this is what I want to do, you know. <laughs> so I and. I really did. I knew at an early age. It's like this is what I wanted. So now, did you when you decided that you wanted to to, to draw professionally, um, seek out the comic book companies or start going to cons? How did you I, get introduced to that world? You know, back then, um, the only thing I knew because I, I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada, mm -hmm. and everything was in New York, everything. Mm -hmm. And you know, I didn't know anyone in New York. You know, I'd never been past the Mississippi. Yeah. And uh, so, but in the back of the comics, they would have the little, you know, sub oh, you know submission editor submit, address. Yeah. And I mean, I sent them, I, I had to send them hundreds of submissions. My authors know all about that. Yeah. Submit here, submit here, yes. submit here, so that you can get all those letters that yeah. say no. <laughs> you know, and, and I always got letters that were polite rejections, you know, like, yeah. hey, this is good stuff. You might want to work on this, might want to work on that, and, and keep trying, you know. And, uh, I mean, I submitted, like, clockwork, never and never got any type of acceptance from uh -huh. Marvel or DC. But, uh, you know, as I got older, and the web mm -hmm. started, and, and particularly, like, broadband, 
the, where the you're internet, able to send like big files in a matter of minutes. This has shifted the arts and entertainment yeah. paradigm. It really has. Yeah. It's allowed us to reach our audience. It's allowed us to reach the the corporate sponsors and, and yeah. you know, big companies. It's still opened it up. So yeah, much. It, it's it changed everything. And so, whereas it used to be, you had to you know go to New York and throw your portfolio down in front of an editor and harass them into giving you work. Right, you could, the security you could didn't harass show them up through, before you were done. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. You, know, <laughs> uh, you could uh, harass them through um, email. And um, and I, and so what, what I did, though, is I'd, I'd sort of gotten enough rejection letters from Marvel and DC that I was like, okay, that's, you know, that's what's the thing. definition of stupid, right? You know? <laughs> and after 300 times, I finally, you know, figured it out. And, and so what I did, though, is uh, there was a, there was a, a, comic book group on the internet called Digital Webbing. Okay. And they were they were like doing all their submissions and, and critiques and, and people were just showing each other like what they were doing and it was all wow. done on, on the internet web forum. And then uh, the publisher would be like, hey, this is really good. Do you want to, you know, do you want to do some pages for a book? Wow. And so I was like, yeah, you know, ah, you know. Been waiting for that call like, and, for a long uh, time. Yeah. So my first comic ever was Digital Webbing 29 and it was a 20-page Fist of Justice story, which sold 500 copies, and I bought 100 of them. <laughs> okay, you know, and you know, gave them, gave them to everyone. Like, here, I did it. Finally, I did it. You know, he just described my first novel. And you know, and but the thing is, is, is um, it wasn't until I did that comic. It, it's like once you sort of prove, like, you I know, that you can step in the this. ring or you can step up to the batter's plate and at least swing at the ball. That gets you so much further mm -hmm. because, like, the next time I went to San Diego Comic-Con and, and they did, like, the portfolio review or whatever, it's like I just put a copy of the book in there, too. There like, it hey, is. look. Yeah. And then after that, I started getting interviews at the now, talent did, searches and, and things I know like that. You, now so. you're doing uh, Harley Quinn. Yep. Were you yeah. drawn to that, or was that something that they needed no, to do? No, they, they – it was so funny. Um, I People don't know this. I've been working for D.C. for, like, 12 years. Uh-huh. Everyone thinks Harley. It's like my first book, it's, you know. And now it's like, hey, he's a Harley Quinn <laughs> yeah. guy. And that's okay, though. Yeah. I mean, that's okay. Um, I started out as a fill-in. Um, uh, Joey Cavallari, who is someone I met at San Diego, uh -huh. who, someone who reviewed my portfolio, and um, I'd been sending him samples like clockwork. Anything I did, I would just send him like four pages like once a month. You know, enough to be on his radar and not be annoying. You know what I mean? There's like a fine line. I don't know. I've crossed and, that. I think I trip over that. Well, and, the time, um, so. but what happened is he called me one day and he's like, hey, my artist got in a car wreck, broke his arm. He's like, I have two assignments, a 22-page assignment and a six-page assignment. He's like, which one do you want? I'm like, I want them both. Like, All right, so, I, I was like so ready to go. So I just want to like, say, that's, that's, the, that's like the, that's, how do you respond to a call like yeah. that? Uh, am I supposed to be, oh my God, I'm so sorry he broke his arm in a car no. wreck? Or am I, <laughs> <laughs> because I, because at this particular point, I, oh, I'm not feeling that you know, emotion. That is, that is the first time. <laughs> that is the first time I even thought about that guy, and I just realized what a terrible human being I am. See, you I know. was like, "How do you answer that?" Call? Like, <laughs> like, I know I'm supposed to say I feel no, it, but I, I, I was like don't. stepping over his dead body <laughs> without any concern to humanity and my fellow man. And uh, well, no. you see, and that's what we're all about. We want your your we want the people who, who enjoy <laughs> your art so much through the DC world to yeah. get to know you as a guy a little bit yeah so now we we know about harley we know about your journey to harley yeah uh through dc now we come to the segment of the show i have nicknamed clickbait uh oh here okay. we go so here comes the fun question that's right these are the questions the girls go to the web they shuffle them up i don't even get to see them before they pop it up there. okay and your real life answers are supposed to give you the headline that makes me like a youtube superstar okay all uh, right i'd say to make you a very popular artist but that's already done so check We'll take credit for it. That's what we'll do. Uh, okay. He's an artist. This isn't even fair. Other than writing, name three ways to use a pencil. Oh, boy. Well, I think one of them might be to draw something. No, well, that's art. Write. Oh, that's, that's art. art. That, that's that counts. Art. Okay, so, you can't do that. Um, drumstick. Drumstick. Okay. Weapon. Weapon. And improvised stabby guy. device. He draws the bad guy. Watch, uh, <laughs> watch, watch Guy Ritchie's Rock and Roll Up. There you go. Where he takes out the bouncer with a the pencil. There you go. Um, and the musical instrument. You can, you can put it in your you mouth and you it. can thump it. And 
Do we have a pencil? Uh, they don't. We're going to get don't. internet famous this is, here. This is... This you is, get, get, the, get it, come on, bring it. Bring the pencil here so. from back there. Okay, we'll, we'll do the next question, and then we'll, <laughs> then we'll play the pencil. All right. All right. Uh, if we could trap you at a TV show for a week, where uh -huh. would you want to be trapped? I dream a genie or bewitched. Like, swap me for... That's pretty. Like yeah. Major Nelson or, uh -huh. or, or either yeah. one of the Darrens. Yeah. 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 That, that could right? work. Right? Wouldn't that work? Or... Or somewhere on Linda Carter's Wonder Woman. Just that, that could be awesome. That and that, be awesome. That's probably terribly misogynistic. I'm sorry. They, well, we're, yeah. <laughs> but it's not our fault. We yeah. We born this way. Right, exactly. Of. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh. <laughs> but, you know. Even nice guys like Either put girls. me in front of an Amazon goddess or and let's magical it, blonde bombshells. No matter how nice a guy so. you are, you like an Amazon goddess. You yeah. can't help yourself. Yeah, no, you can't. No. I'm so, sorry. Okay, two things that are on your particular bucket list. What haven't you oh. done that you really want to do? You know, um, I've been thinking about this a lot, especially after, uh, especially after, you know, now, now that I've sort of passed the torch to John Timms on Harley. I mean, I, I did Harley for four years, and I'm still doing issues and fill-ins and, mm -hmm. and covers and whatnot. But um, um, you start to realize, I, uh, two days ago, I turned 43, and you start to realize the older you get that there's that that clock is going to stop ticking one day you know what i mean yeah like your time on this little blue rock is a finite <laughs> amount of time yeah. and the first 43 years went really fast they seem like they did yeah just like blink of an eye you know done although i remember being like 23 thinking that this was old <laughs> my son the are, money i would pay to be 23 my, my sons are, are now that age yeah yeah. And I hope they don't think this is old because I don't feel that old. You know, and that's just it. Your mind. Yeah. Your mind doesn't feel old. Yeah. But, like, you start to wake up and, like, your feet hurt or your back hurts or, you know. And um, and then you watch your, you know, I've watched my grandparents pass and I've watched mm -hmm. my parents get get old. And Anyone you'd like to draw? Any character you'd like to step in? Well, that's just it. I, I, I think uh, I'd like to do something that was creator-owned. And, and you yeah, got to remember, yeah. like, when, when I was, like, super into comics. It was the age of Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee, Mark Savestri, Rob Liefeld. Mm -hmm. And those guys overnight, you know, one day said, hey, we're going to create our own thing. We're going to own it ourselves. And overnight became the second largest publisher on the planet. And, um, and the big corporations, and they, they've learned from that. And it's, it's not as easy it's today. it's happening now. Uh, like you said, the, the Internet's changed the paradigm. Yeah. The opportunity yeah, is there. Yes. The, the question the, is... The Uber for comics has not been created yet. Yeah. Someone's going to do it. Some and um, so I would like to do something where... Be a part of that. You know, I, well, I've already... Okay, like, I've already been part of Harley. I'm pretty sure Harley is going to go on forever at this point. Well, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, in another 50 years, people are going to still be reading Harley Quinns, and my artwork's going to be in those books, and there will be a little bit of a legacy There's there. a legacy, yeah. But I didn't create her. You know what I'm saying? So you want to do something. So you want, you know, I, I look at guys like Mike Manola who did Hellboy. I look at, you know, Todd who did Spawn and and any ideas floating around you know, for a character? I, Anything I, I'm, not, I'm not a writer at all. Um, I got a lot of inspiration from Sergio Aragonis, mm -hmm. who, who who does Gru. Yeah. He just draws his script. And wow. I'm like, oh, I don't have to write, I can just draw the script. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then maybe I get a friend to like put the dialogue in. I, I don't know. But but Something. Us even word guys even are if a I, a word guys like yeah. me are a dime a dozen, man. <laughs> well, I just you know, you know, um, you know, we'll see. Yeah, I'd yeah. like to. I'd like to see if I can't create something that, that would be amazing. That, that would be amazing. Last the eons. We, a you bit. know, we're gonna grab some links down below so people can see the work, the great work that you've already done. Okay. And right. uh, we're also, uh, you know, but hey, shoot us a line when you do that. When you when that comes. Okay. We're gonna, we want to be the first one. We want to announce okay. that to the web right. that you're out there doing your own thing. I will do that. All right. Uh, where are you going to be next? Where are you going next? Las I'm going home. Going home. Go to Las, Las Vegas. Vegas, Nevada. All right. And I go, go to my hometown, see my, see my classmates. Uh, awesome. Play a little video poker, get some complimentary drinks. Um, <laughs> from, from Vegas, he knows all, all the little roads. Going gonna to either win it big or lose it all. So, but... Uh, Occasionally, no. occasionally they win it big. A lot of times you know, they don't um, lose it all. <laughs> you you got to know what you're doing. Yeah. You can't just go in there and throw quarters in a machine or it'll all be gone. But, 
But um, if you know how to play the odds, you can you can there have some fun. Go. There you go. And, and, you and go. that's the key thing. You, you got to set aside some money and, and be like, this is my entertainment money for this weekend. And that's it. And that's it. That's you, it. Don't, you don't go back to the ATM and empty, you know, the we kids' to, college I used, account. I used to have a rule that said, like, here's, here's, yeah. here's my entertainment right. fund. And right. if I make my right. entertainment fund, right. then the entertainment fund goes away. Exactly. And now I'm playing with their money. Right. And so you just, you, bad, there, yeah. there, there has to be a little bit of self-control, a little bit of rules that you stick to. And, other, yeah, otherwise, uh, they say it's like heroin, where you're just like, ah, you know. Speaking then, of rules, rules of the road, upcoming artists out there, oh, what would you tell them? Um, you know, um, never stop drawing. Never stop drawing. Draw all the time. Um, learn to live without distractions. I, I teach, too. Awesome. I teach. Where do you teach? Uh, I teach at Utah Valley University. I'm actually a professor of illustration. Wow, Dean is actually from Utah. And um, my students come in, and uh, you know, I'm teaching them figure drawing, and they're doing. They have their phone like this, and they're doing this, and the models over here. Oh wow! And you yeah. can't slap them because they'll send you to jail. Yeah, I but hear, I'm like, I hear what? That are you, like, you're wasting your time. You're wasting my time. You're wasting your parents' money. You know. Wow. But uh, yeah, it is. Learn to focus. Yeah. Focus is a big thing. Yeah, well, and, and, and there's so many distractions. You know, um, uh, my son and I, we, for my birthday, we played, uh, we played the remastered uh, video, uh, video game, PlayStation 3 video game for PS4, uh, the zombie one. It's, it, it's escaped me up. at the moment. But yeah. anyway, if I had that video, I mean, I had, we are both I had so combat much. when I was like 12. Yep. You know, the we Atari, remember when the, the, oh my, the, the, the things were made out of wood? 16-bit, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, oh, this is the best thing ever, you know. Joystick yeah, was like one bar, 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 I, yeah. I, my kids freak me out because I watch them and their thumbs and their, th and I yeah. I remember the joystick yeah. with one button, and yeah. that was it. And, and that's we, it. And we, that was as complicated as we well, wanted and, to get. And, and the thing that was cool about it is you would play it for 15 minutes, you'd get bored and you'd go outside. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. these games today are so immersive and so just like it sucks them in and that's all they can think about and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but it's, focus is hard to find. You, if you're you going to be really, in the creative arts, well, you and, need focus. And, and here's the other thing. The other thing I tell my students, I'm like, you are no longer competing against the people in this room. Like when I went to college, when I went to college, I was competing against the other kids in the room. These kids are competing against every kid in the world. Yeah. And there's kids in Brazil, in the Philippines, in Singapore, in Croatia that would kill to, to have their job and to do it for a hundredth of what they're willing to be paid. Mm -hmm. And, and they just don't realize, like, how steep the competition is. It is. The global competition. And it, as the world yeah. shrinks, yeah. that's what happens the, yeah. to, the, to, the talent, and, to the talent pool that's I'm out like, there. I'm like, you, you just have to be so good. You have to be undeniably oh, good. Oh, that's, that's our shut-up oh. card. See, that's what they do. Yeah. Well, okay. Throw sticks and rocks at us. They do. They but, do. Yeah. And just when, the, you know, you get visiting and then they, they do that. So, <laughs> all right. So we're going to say thank you real quick. We're going to say thank you thank to you our guys. partners and friends at Stump Unique Magazine. The Florida Book News, Wordfire Press, Space Coast Comics, Famous Faces and Funnies. All those folks are sharing our videos all over the world. I'm hoping to share some amazing creators, artists, authors, filmmakers, entertainers of all kinds. We're so grateful that we get to do this. I'm GW Palmature. We've been hanging with DC comic artist Chad Harden. Pretty soon we're going to take the DC off that. It's just going to be Chad Harden. You're going to know it. It's like <laughs> up in lights. He lives in Vegas. He can afford the sign. He's going to get that up there as soon as he wins. <laughs> Remember, folks, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next.